The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Maccabees. From there, there grew a wicked offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of King Antiochus. Once a hostage in Rome, he became king in the 107th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. It was then that there emerged from Israel a set of renegades who led many people astray. Come, they said, let us ally ourselves with the Gentiles surrounding us, for since we separated ourselves from them, many misfortunes have overtaken us. This proposal proved acceptable, and a number of the people eagerly approached the king, who authorized them to practice the Gentiles' observances. So they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem, such as the Gentiles have, disguised their circumcision, and abandoned the Holy Covenant, submitting to Gentile rule as willing slaves of impiety. The king then issued a proclamation to his whole kingdom that all were to become a single people, each nation renouncing its particular customs. All the Gentiles conformed to the king's decree, and many Israelites chose to accept his religion, sacrificing to idols and profaning the Sabbath. On the 15th day of Chislev in the year 145, the king built the appalling abomination on top of the altar of burnt offering, and altars were built in the surrounding towns of Judah, and incense offered at the doors of houses and in the streets. Any books of the law that came to light were torn up and burned. Whenever anyone was discovered possessing a copy of the covenant or practicing the law, the king's decree sentenced him to death. Yet there were many in Israel who stood firm and found the courage to refuse unclean food. They chose death rather than contamination by such fair or profanation of the Holy Covenant, and they were executed. And our response is taken from Psalm 119. Fury grips me when I see the wicked who abandon your law. Though caught in the snares of the wicked, I do not forget your law. Rescue me from human oppression, and I will observe your precepts. My pursuers are coming closer to their wicked designs and further from your law. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your will. The sight of these renegades appalls me. They do not observe your promise. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened that as Jesus drew near to Jericho, there was a blind man sitting at the side of the road begging. When he heard the crowd going past, he asked what it was all about. And they told him that Jesus the Nazarene was passing by. So he called out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people in front scolded him and told him to keep quiet. But he only shouted all the louder, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and ordered them to bring the man to him. And when he came up, asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Sir, he replied, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, receive your sight your faith has saved you. And instantly his sight returned and he followed him praising God. And all the people who saw it gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.